It is starting to rain, um, and oh, I'm like crying. But yeah, I don't I need to hurry up because <laughs> I don't think I'll make it because it's really starting to come down. But I think I've found it. Or I've nearly yet, yeah, this is the Monkey Trail. Um, right up along this bridge. Wow. That hike was actually. Like the steps were pretty steep. They're not like too bad, but like still I'm breaking a sweat. Um, yeah. Now we're just coming down this little path. Haven't seen any monkeys though, so they are the monkeys. Okay, so just climbed those really steep steps you can't really tell, but we're at the other end on a different beach. A couple more steps. And this is what I walked all the way for. The sand is really soft. I need to take my shoes off. It's quite empty as well. It's really beautiful. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm gonna be getting on one of those later to go to Rene Beach. Yeah, I'm excited.
right now I'm just waiting for y'all that I met yesterday and then I'm gonna catch a long tail boat to get to Rayleigh and yeah but I'm excited to just um, not have to move around so much like after tomorrow like everything will be a bit more chill I won't have to like leave every day but your Krabi has been okay like nothing special really um it's all right so i'm glad i'm not really staying here for long because you know yeah but anyway so right now we're headed to well i'm headed to ray lake and guess we're gonna be going on this long tail boat with this tour <coughs> exciting my first time on a boat. This is literally my first time on a boat. Um, I'm enjoying the time. Okay, right now I'm on a boat. Uh, so now I just have to find my hostel. Um, I need to figure out which side to go because I'm really not sure but okay I'll use this beach cafe that I can see uh, and yeah we'll just figure it out as we go found it mm, look at all these stairs I have to climb this is where Blanco hideout is, all the way up these stairs. I am literally in the jungle, well not literally, but literally in the jungle, fairly beat, and I love it. I literally step off the ferry and I'm like, I like it, yeah, this is my vibe. I'm like, why do I spend so much time in Krabi? But yeah, this is my little dorm, and there's like, you can even hear like, the birds chirping and everything like wow there's the pool area yeah, let me walk on to Blanca Right now, um, heading out. Oh, my sister's calling. <laughs> this place is unreal. Like this is honestly so pretty. My head is like this because it's starting to rain. Um, get like a little bit of juice, but it's going away. But this really is actually honestly incredibly beautiful. Like this is real life, absolutely real life. Like oh my gosh. So there, there is like I think a little. I don't know what they call it again. I forgot what they call it. But connects like the bank like a bank i think i don't know but it connects these two islands together i guess to get to that cave so i'm gonna try to get there as well look at these rock formations 
soft white sand. It's not like incredibly soft, but it's still pretty soft. So I'm gonna try across this. Um, yeah, wow. Well, just. I really like it here. I really like it here, and then I think I really want to stay. But I don't know if I can because I've already like booked everything, and I booked like two nights in Kofi, um, and just one night here. So I don't know. Like this is it's so pretty. Like just. Devastatingly beautiful, and I think I'm gonna come back tomorrow. So, like, the side, I think I'm gonna come back tomorrow morning for the sunrise to watch the sunrise here because look at this, it's incredible. And, like, it's a bit cloudy right now, so I don't really get to see the sunset properly. So, maybe if I come tomorrow morning, the sunset will be beautiful, I hope. But it's absolutely beautiful, and I want to stay here for like another day, another night, or just like stay here for a couple of weeks. I think. I don't know, it's so pretty. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm listening to some music and I'm really, really happy. Like, really, really happy to be up right now. Guys, it's crazy. <laughs> and it's like, it's been like a massive dream, like, for me to be in Thailand. And now that I'm here, it's actually like happening and it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, right off the beach, you have these two caves. Oh my gosh, it's so hot to even walk in the sand, it's so soft. It's actually, it's hot. But this is the cave with all the little um, things. <laughs> well, not so little, like, I thought so little, it's quite big. Uh, but yeah, there's like a whole story behind this about why they um, put all these sticks here. But yeah, <laughs> there's another one. That one's quite something. <laughs> like the only vegan place along all of this whole walking street is quite big actually but this is like the only place and I mean there's so many options so many options um, just couldn't decide what I wanted but I said that the vegan chicken wrap is the best seller so I got that but there's honestly so many options I'm looking forward to coming back here tomorrow to eat more of this food it looks so good I got this Oreo milkshake, Oreo kind of banana, I don't know, milkshake, and the chicken wrap looks really good. It's huge. Um, looks huge, pretty good. Not. 
Oops. <laughs> and I was wondering why we're walking up a steep, steep road. Google Maps. Google Maps, you have done us dirty. So this is the last pancake and we're getting a pancake with Nutella and watching the magic happen. I can't wait to like travel to Italy to just eat the pasta, to eat all the fucking pasta in the world and it's like top quality pasta, you know, not this like nonsense we get in the supermarkets. Like these stairs are a great workout of those pancakes. It's a cool shot. Crystal white. So apparently it's really difficult, um, so I don't know, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm excited though, because at least it's sunny, quite bright though, but it's sunny, and so yeah, it should be a good day. Is it hot? <laughs> so pretty. Wow. wow, yeah. So we are doing that. Let's climb up. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> okay, so I'm doing this alone. Marianne is a bit scared of heights. Um, so I'm doing this hike alone. It was quite intense. Like, it was proper climbing. Like, it's really hard, but my hands are like red. Um, I think this is the way to the looking. I'm not sure. <sighs> but I'm proud of myself for doing something, for doing this on my own. I'm so tired. Okay. I'm just following this verb and hoping that it'll lead me to wherever it is I'm supposed to be. Um, yeah. If not, <laughs> I'll be, I won't be very happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. We're not going down, right? How do you get down?
her. Is it dangerous? <laughs> so right now we yeah the, the quality is better if I do it this but way. Some Why don't you? Are you not need to see yourself? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late now. Uh, but I was late for my checkout. Uh, hence I've got like all my things, and I have to catch. Yeah. Two hundred. Yeah. And for 200 you could have like three sticky rice. I could get like a proper meal. Yeah, and crabby, you could have like four, four noodles. <laughs> Your tattoo looks so beautiful. <laughs> we're so right now we're just trying to find something to eat. Banana Is coconut? that the vegan place? No, it's not. But I do want to. No, I said I'll eat on Kopipi, right? Yeah, I'm just getting a shake. So we're just looking for your sticky rice, and I just want a shake. So I'm going to this pier. I have to go all the way to the end to catch my speedboat. Right now I'm just waiting to head on to the speedboats to get to Kobe B. Uh, I managed to put everything back into the suitcase, into my backpack. Um, I don't know if I need to get a cover on it, on my bag, but I don't know. But yeah, railway has been good. I'm super tired. I've been walking a lot. I went at the viewpoint, so I'm like really tired. Yeah, this is like my fit. I'm literally still wearing my bikini and my hiking shorts. Yeah, and I had to like check out of my hostel. I was late, so I had to pay extra because I was just completely forgot. I was just at the beach, just soaking it in, and I completely forgot that I have to check out. Um, and then I lost my ticket. Oh my god! And then I lost my ticket to get to KPP. So I lost my ticket, and the guy was nice enough to just get me a new one because I honestly don't remember where I put it but I could have swore I put it in my bag but I couldn't find it luckily we sat down to get sticky rice if we didn't I don't know it would have been a problem thank you so much 3 o'clock at the pier 330 3 30. you have to be there 320 320 thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you so much but he was like i have to pay or i give him a kiss so obviously i gave him a kiss because i close like i paid close to like 1000 like paid like 900 but for that so it's like pretty expensive you know and the only reason i got it is because it was the only option like the, the only cheapest option was the ferry but that leaves at like 9 45 in the morning and i'm like i haven't i can't leave at 9 45 so, and this is the last bus of three to call PB. So I took the last bus, but I paid quite a bit for it. But it's fine because, you know, bye bye, really. You have been beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I love every minute of being here. I'm sad that it's ending, but yeah, to call PB now. It should be really, really beautiful. <laughs>